Hey everybody, what's up? It's Larry. This is the first vlog, um, almost like a test vlog or a pilot, if you will. But this is going to be the first of a series of uh, something new I'm going to be trying. Um, it's still my vlogs are going to deal with tech and different things and probably some family and different things, trips and things that I do. But um, I'm not sure which direction it's going to go yet, so it's going to be a work in progress, and you can follow me along as I do it. So, uh, I said a few things that I want to talk about today. Um, one would be, um, I'm using the Zoom Q4 as my vlog camera. I bought, um, I actually have it right here. A while back, I bought the RX100 II from Sony. Uh, with the external mic that mounts onto the hot shoe and uh, my plan was to use that as a vlogging camera but I didn't like that I couldn't see how I looked in the shot um, because the screen only tilts it doesn't actually flip up or anything to where you can actually see uh, that you're framed properly and I tried a few vlogs like in my truck and driving and ended up I was chopped off or you know for whatever reason it just never really worked out this one the Q4 has the flip out screen, the XY mics, and to me it isn't, I haven't seen anybody mention it as a vlog camera, but to me it looks like it is perfect for vlogging. It's small, it's lightweight, the sound should be really, really good with a zoom product, and it looks, it's got the wide angle lens as you can see, and, and the flip out screen so I can see myself as I'm doing it, so that's one thing. Uh, so that is what I will be using. Uh, I'll let you know if I change that up or, or whatever. And um, I'll have an unboxing video and a first look um, coming out soon, probably the day after or the same day as I post this vlog. So the other things that I've been, or that I want to talk to you about, is um, I've been watching, I've started, my, I'm into my second one now, and I'm watching The Rebels on Amazon. Now, Amazon this time of year, I guess, I think last year was the first year that they did it, but they're starting with their, um, what they call their pilot season, much like a regular network would have a pilot season, but theirs, you can actually watch the first pilot and sort of vote on which ones will make it to actually be shows on Amazon. Um, I do watch the one, the winner from last year, which is Alpha House, I believe is the name of it, with John Goodman and Mark Consuelos, and it's pretty good. Um, not great, but it's a half-hour comedy, so it's pretty good. But the one that I just finished watching was an hour drama sci-fi from, I think, Chris Carter, the guy who did X-Files, called The After. And it was pretty slow getting into it, a lot of character development and stuff, but, you know, I guess that's normal for a pilot. But the end was really good, and it has a lot of lost feel to it and I guess you can even feel a little x-files to it so I'd like to see that one go on I don't know if I would watch it I don't know you know if it would be something that would really catch me I'd have to see a few more episodes but the, the last probably 10 minutes of the pilot was really good so we'll see um so I'll be I'll be watching some more of those and I'll update you guys as I watch them and see what see what I think and leave me a comment down below if you've watched any or um there's any that strike you or any that you thought were good or that I should check out if I don't or um, recommend me stay away from I'd appreciate that so I don't waste my time but uh, leave me any comments down below about the Amazon uh, pilot season the other thing that came out today was the flappy bird developer uh, some dude from Korea I'm not gonna attempt to say his name whatever has been on Twitter saying that uh, he's gonna pull Flappy Bird from the uh, App Store, from the App Store and uh, the Google Play Store. So he said that it has ruined his life and um, that he just can't handle, I guess, the pressure of it. I, I don't know. Um, I'm sure it's got to suck with how many people um, dislike the game. Even it's so popular. I, I read somewhere there's a figure that he makes $50,000 a day just in the advertisement, uh, advertising. So... I don't know, but uh, I've heard rumors that he's getting death threats and things like that because people are just so crazy with it. Um, so anyways, he's pulling it. So if you don't have Flappy Bird and you've never done it, um, may I say don't. But if you're curious about it, I suggest that you download it right away because supposedly after tomorrow it won't be in, the, uh, in either Play Stores anymore. Okay, and uh, one of the last things I want to talk to you guys about is I'm looking for... 
I don't want to say the perfect, but the perfect one for me. And maybe you can, maybe you guys out there can help me out. But I'm looking for the perfect Android app for Twitter. Now, the one that I use when I I move back over to Android, I still have iOS, my 5S for work, and I don't really use that too often for Twitter, or Facebook, or anything like that, unless it's the only thing in my hand. But on my Galaxy Note 3, when I first switched back, when I had, I bought the Note 2. I've had the Note 2, the S4, and now the Note 3. Um, when I first switched over, the one thing that I really, really liked about the iOS one that I used, which was TweetBot, I believe, was that it would sync from where I was if I looked on my iPhone to where if I opened up my iPad, it would automatically um, adjust my timeline for where I left off from another device. So that's been awesome. Now, I've been trying to find something that'll do the same thing on... Android. Now I've tried the official Twitter app and I've had no luck with it. Maybe there's a setting that I just can't find. Uh, I s sort of think of myself as, um, I don't want to say an expert, but someone that could figure out settings and I haven't been able to find that. So um, I've tried the official app. I've tried a few things. My favorite was Falcon Pro. Now a lot of you may know what that is and if you don't, what it was is a a great Android app that I had read about after I, I switched over. I used it. After a while, Twitter was cracking down and they pulled their, I don't know, whatever, their coins or their right to pretty much tap into Twitter to use it in a secondary app. So they, there was a workaround where you could set up through Twitter the developer, make a developer app, and then you could get in. And I used that for a while and it was great. But then every once in a while, it wouldn't let me send out a tweet, and I'd have to get back into the uh, stock Twitter app to send out a tweet, and it just became a pain in the butt. So I deleted it and then tried four or five other apps from the App Store and just couldn't find anything I liked because I liked Falcon Pro so much. So today, I did a little bit more research, and I found Talon, which to me looks... the. The icon looks almost exactly like um, Falcon Pro. Um, it's got a dark look to it, sort of like Falcon Pro. But the things that I liked about Falcon Pro was that I could hold on something and it would give me the options to uh, reply, retweet, star, share. This has the same thing and it actually gives you a spot at the bottom to just start your reply with whoever it is already right in there filled in already. Um, you can swipe um, from one side to the other, get to your timeline, your men all those things. You go the other way, you get mentions, direct messages. I thought the other, yeah, there you go. The other way you get pictures and links. And then I must have, there is your timeline, direct messages, trending, all that kind of stuff. Then you got settings down here. But this so far for me has been almost and i've only had it downloaded for a couple hours so i haven't had much time to use it but it really looks like it is the replacement for me for falcon pro so uh let me know out there what you guys are using for android uh for twitter applications um if you've had any experience with this falcon leave me a comment down below let me know the pluses the pros the cons you know things like that uh, if you have any suggestions of ones that I should be trying or different settings that maybe I didn't use in some of the other apps, let me know. Uh, the other one I tried was TweetCast. I just didn't really like the way like when you go to reply or you want to do something else, it gives you a huge list of everything that you can do. And I just like it's just a simple. So anyways, let me know what you guys are using out there. So that's it. This was the first vlog. Let me know if you enjoyed this. Let me know another thing. Should I have a second channel? Would you guys mind having the the vlogs, you know, because not everyone's going to be all tech, with like, you know, Twitter apps and Flappy Bird and things like that. Some of the things I may be talking about won't be tech, just sort of geeky lifestyle type things. Let me know if you'd, if you'd want to see all that thing on a separate channel to keep separate or if you're cool with it being on the Geeky Nerd Dad channel and just sort of mixed in and with playlists and things like that for the vlogs. Not sure how often vlogs will be. I'm hoping I can do this on a daily basis, but with the kids running around, but you know, it makes it difficult. I all usually do all my videos late at night, like it's I don't know, 10:30 right now, my time. 
Uh, so this is the time when I start editing. I got some videos to edit and some voiceovers and things like that. Anyways, let me know what you guys would like. I will see you guys later in the next video. Thanks for watching.